Hello, this is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting coming to you today with your three minute money message. Now, first off, I have a secret to tell you. Come a little closer so you can hear me. Are you listening? Everything you need to know about money to become a financial success you learn in elementary school. Now, think back to your days when you were a little bit younger. I'm sure you played games that had play money and in this game the goal may have been for you to accumulate the most amount of cash and that's how we determine the winner now the funny part about playing games as a youngster is that you could make financial decisions based solely on mathematics and emotions did not come into play that much now on the other hand after you become an adult and you find that first job you start making real money. And the interesting thing about that is that when you started making financial decisions, all of a sudden your emotions played a bigger role than they maybe should have. And that may have caused some financial challenges in your life. But keep in mind, everything that you need to know about money, you learn in elementary school. So... I learned, just like you did, how to add and subtract in elementary school. So let's look at this first symbol. Now one of the other things I learned in elementary school was how to color. And as you can see, I use that skill to create my visual aid. So just bear with me. Now when you look at the addition sign, of course, that represents something that's positive or something being added to you, so to speak. Now when it comes to your money, this symbol is going to represent income. Income as an adult can represent things like the job that you get paid to do. Income could come in the form of interest that you're earning from money in the bank. It could come in the form of dividends or possibly even capital gains as well. We want to make this number as high as possible in the adult financial wellness. The next symbol that we'll talk about today is the minus sign or the negative symbol. As it relates to personal finance in the adult world where we play with real money, some of the expenses that we all have might be rent or mortgage payments, transportation costs, utilities, maybe even debt payments for credit cards or possibly even student loan debt as well. So when we're playing the adult financial wellness game, keep this in mind. My goal is for you to make income as high as possible while minimizing your living expenses. And at the end of the day, we want to make that gap between income and expenses as wide as possible so that you can generate the additional cash flow that you need in your household to make all your financial dreams come true. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll be discussing multiplication as well as division with your money. This is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting reminding you to have more by spending less.